and Sultec Fire Systems, DRC, and CR Mining Solutions, Fire System Specialists, South Africa. Fish SA. Fishing is not a sport, it's an obsession. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this evening we're fishing Big Tree Beach in Ramsgate. Uh, I'm here with the ocean. The ocean. How's it What's going? The ocean early on. on. More. Yeah, he caught some lacquer bronze <laughs> bream at uh, Shelly. Shelly's keyboard club area. Was a run today. Yeah, that was fucking amazing. Smash three. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Here's two of them that I capped. Yeah, look at that, man. 142 centimeters. Look an awesome, man. Eh? Let's see the. Here's the chair. Let's see. Yeah, yo, that's like a size, right? Yeah, guys, yeah, we're going to be targeting uh, cob this evening or whatever else, maybe shad, whatever else uh, comes on the bite. I've got a um, little bit of a uh, um, sardine belly here yeah? and a flotation, bronze beam trace. So I'm going to put that out. So, uh, yeah, join us as we fish Big Tree Beach, Ramsgate. Are you back for vengeance? Yeah, we're back for vengeance, yeah. Now we guys both come. And we're here with the wild man himself. We are wild man. There's a wild man himself here with us. We are. We're ready to fish. Fish on here. You know what I got on? Little copy. Yeah. Hi there guys, the little cobby here. Hey, how's that guys? A little uh, cobby. Ah, there he goes. Moment later. Huh? Pure moment later. This evening we're fishing uh, Big Tree Beach. I'm with Vully. Again. Are you Vully? Yeah, Vully yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Marco. How's it Marco guys? back again. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're fishing Big Tree Beach, targeting cob and whatever else we can get. Let's see what we can get, guys. Any fish will do. Any fish will do, huh? You guys, my bait. Already here. Yeah. I got a bottle sinker, four ounce or five ounce, I'm not sure. Okay. And here I got red eye, Mattel red eye, with a uh, six ounce grab. Just in case we have a uh, current to wash, side wash here. So that's what I'm going to try. So I'm ready with one here. And uh, Billy, Hello. let me see what you're up to there. So I just build, I just made a more normal double hook. Hook it in the head, one in the tail, and that's it. Yeah. With and you're also eye. using the tail red eyes. Yeah, red eyes. Special eye, yeah. red eyes. Marco, what you up to? What are you planning? I'm also going to use a uh, red eye. Red eye, yeah? yeah. Hey, we're all going red eye. And I cut the head off. Right. I right. cut the head off and uh, let it bleed. Do you do inside out or you just straight up? No, there? straight. Yeah, okay. Hey, good luck guys. Let's see what we get. Got Marco on here. The rod is bending a little bit. Let's see what Marco's got. what a sand shark looks like <laughs> you said it's going to be a sand shark let's see there's something coming what do we have bring him bring him there we go Maybe. first cop no not too bad well done Marco first copy of the night lovely man congrats bro Shot. <laughs> Lacquer. The best. <laughs> okay, yeah, this was Marco's bait, yeah? You had a look at the size. What size hook were you using here? Uh, biggest one in my box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. He's under a cob. Lovely. But the float, the white float, it does make a I think it makes that a you had, you had the uh, choker here. Chocker. So I put a piece on the belly just to... Yeah, so it's a combo of choker and red eye. Awesome, man. Well done. You say? Well done. Okay, guys, putting out my special 
bronze bream trace here that I caught a six kilo shad once with. Now if you go back into my uh, channel, you'll see this is exactly what I used, uh, which I'm going to caught that sh shad. So, little two-o hook, bronze beam trace. So yeah, I put out that, and I got another red eye here with two hooks. And see what we're going to get on that. So let's see. You guys, look at that. Pulling line. Pulling line, pulling line. Let's see what we got. I'm going to bring him this way. It's fighting. Good fight. See, my other one went up as well, but I don't know if it took it, I think it took it into the other one. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's fighting now, eh? It is fighting. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yo, nice fight here guys. Yeah, it's taking. Yo, it's head shakes, head shakes. I think we got a cob here. We might have a cob here. Yo, good fight. Yes, sir. Yo, head shakes here. Yeah, good fight. Very good fight. Hold him a little bit. Feel him. How does he feel, Billy? Yeah, no, that's a cop, man. Head shakes, eh? Yeah, that's a cop. Bring him, bring him, bring him. Yeah, bring your fish, man. Bring him. Bring I just wanted you to feel it. Like the fight, eh? Yo! Beautiful. It's coming, buddy. It's coming. It's coming. Yo, yeah, grab him by the tail, Billy. Grab him by the tail. That is that tangle. It's not pretty bad. Yo, guys, look at that. The hooks are everywhere. Yeah, grab him, grab him. Now yeah, bring him up. Yo, look at that. Yay! Look at that, man. Told you we're gonna get something from. Yes, man. This rod does it again for me, eh? How's I? First copy for the night. Ah, that's a monster fish. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Well man. done. Three hey. nights in a row, no bites. So. Three nights in a row, no bites. And then I get this. Ah, well hey. done, well done. Beautiful. How's we'll that, weigh guys? it now. We have a scale, yeah? Yeah, we're yeah, going to this we'll one. Wait just now. Oh, you well like done, that, boy. man. Well Yo. done. Beautiful. Tomorrow we eat like kings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the same, bro. That's it. Look at there. Right in the corner of the... Look at beautiful, yeah. Right in the corner. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at that, eh? Yeah. That's Shut. if you use proper tackle. Yeah. You don't hurt your fish. That's it. Okay, what are you doing here, buddy? So we're going to make a prawn sandwich, my go-to for a cop. Okay. So you take your, uh, okay, I already used that side. So you take your sardine, you cut it to the side. Just take off half of the fillet, okay. about a prawn's length. That's all you need. This, right. um, so just that piece there. Eh? Yeah. But this you split anyway, so. Gently split it so that you don't mush it up. Okay. Like I've done there now. That's perfect. Just like that. Alright. So you're going to take your choker strip, mush it up. The top part very soft, but the okay. bottom part just slightly so that the movement in the water is natural. Take our prawn, take off the head. I save the heads for stump nose. Okay. Now with the prawn, a lot of people they, they don't know this, but when they when you tie a prawn, your prawn is not straight. And the reason for that is simple. There's a vein in the back here. Mm -hmm. It keeps the prawn like this. You see, it doesn't want to bend. Oh, yes, yes. So you I take that, yeah. one, two, on the third, um, what you call it, link there. See, you cut it there, your prawn goes straight. Oh, okay. Right. So first, we're going to put it on the, the prawn on the hook from the back to the front. Looks like a little worm. Okay. And hold it and just gently so that the eye of the hook just just goes into the prawn like that. You see there your prawn sits perfectly straight. Oh, I see, yes. So you're just gonna tie that off a little bit. Not too much though. Don't start in the front, start by the eye, go to the back and then come back to the front. Otherwise you're gonna twist your prawn and it's not going to be straight. If it's not straight in the water, yes. your line will get all tangled up. Okay, so now we take our chokka, put it by the hook side and you just hook it through the hook here. So you've got this little tentacle there, mm -hmm. that can stay. Tie this on, also just gently. we're gonna sandwich it. There's your hook, proud. Yeah, I see so you put your sandwich, you see this, this side, the sharp end goes up to the hook. Mm -hmm. Ah, my hands are slippery. Just slightly tie it because you're gonna tie the whole thing and you want to keep your bait straight if you tie your cotton too tight when you begin then your whole bait goes skewed then we put the other one on the other side again with a sharp oh, put that sharp into the top like that okay and then we tie this off We 
when you begin to put your cotton it's important not to pull your cotton too tight because right. otherwise you mess up the shape hold it with your hand my hands are very slippery just keep my hands you have nothing you use your pants yeah that's it <laughs> See your hook is look very proud. Eh? Very, very, very proud, Joe. Yeah, I never hide the hook. It's not as if the fish can see, you know, the fish doesn't know what that hook's about. Mm -hmm. That's true. Sometimes, you know, it just smells your bait and you're lucky and the, your hook is proud enough to hook it. There we go. Perfect prawn sandwich. That's what you call a prawn sandwich, yeah? Yeah, and uh, you fished with me before, so you know. Yeah, I know. How many uh, how successful the fish this has caught yep. before. Takes time to make this bait, but it's worth the effort. Beautiful bait. It's easier to work with with your sardine if it's all frozen. Yeah. But my sardine is soft now. Off. There we go. Beautiful prawn sandwich. Oh, just tangle it up here. Let's have a look what it looks like. Beautiful. Nothing leaves us in. There's a fish, and it's soft enough so that when a fish bites, it can actually bite down and get the hook. Yeah. So you basically got. Uh, guys, we got prawn here, we got chokka and sardine. Chokka tail. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a basically uh, three, three different beds that, that's on there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration by Vully. And uh, he's been making very neat, beautiful beds from since, ever since I know him. And yeah, hope you guys uh, like that and uh, Try your own as well. Wait, what now? Let's see. Oh, bully. Pick him up. Nice, bully. Got something's happening. Yeah. yeah.